The images are shocking. Thousands of people consuming and selling illegal drugs on the streets of Brazil's main city. Cocaine is the main commodity at the open-air drug market known to locals as Crackland. Crackland is just a few meters from police, who watch but do not interfere. In the last three decades, until March of this year, Crackland was located here on this block in Sao Paulo downtown. The flow was spread by order of the drug traffickers themselves. Today, Sao Paulo has more than 150 mini cracklands spread across the city. The last police operation was at the beginning of this year. 92 traffickers were arrested, but according to observers, they are only a small sampling. They say the main suppliers of crackland are the members of the PCC, or First Command of the Capital. Brazil's main criminal organization. PCC controls drug trafficking in crackland, and the increase in drug user flow is linked to them. When the dealer decides where crackland will go, the addicted will follow. The gang moves more than $40 million a year within crackland, according to the Sao Paulo police. Just a fraction of the group's total annual revenue from international trafficking, estimated at $600 million. The traffic does not happen just here in Crackland. It is a chain that plants, manufactures, refines, packs and transports. Now spread across downtown São Paulo, Crackland is hurting legitimate businesses. These images captured by security cameras in early July show dozens of suspect drug users trying to break into and rob a restaurant. Helena's restaurant, a few meters away from a place where users gather, almost closed. The customers left and we didn't have money to pay the bills. Nobody wanted to come here. I was very afraid of losing my business, but at the first opportunity to sell, I'll do it. Everyone knows about the illegal activities that take place in these areas, and many ask why they continue to exist. Police should focus on preventing drugs from reaching crackland rather than doing large operations to arrest 10 small dealers. We need to change the drug policy we copied from the United States. It didn't work here and it didn't work there. We only fill prisons. We were never able to fix the problem. In a bold move, Sao Paulo authorities have started to implement a policy of mandatory hospitalization, committing more than 20 drug addicts to mandatory treatment programs. A small step that some hope will begin to sting the demand that drives the supply. Edgar Maciel for VOA News, São Paulo.